Hey guys, so in the spirit of me making videos for our YouTube channel, I want to make a quick tutorial on how to create a successful YouTube channel for your food and beverage business, what to do when you have video or creative burnout, and how to best manage it so you can be successful. Now, let's lead into why first. Other than, as I've brought up in other videos, your social media presence is huge. Establishing expertise in your field is huge. But an interesting thing is we, we do get clients that actually come through YouTube. They'll be looking something up and they'll find our videos and they'll watch a couple videos of ours and then they'll contact us for their event or they'll contact us for bubble tea training or anything else. And as you can see here, as I talk about that, that video was posted a year ago and we still get regular inquiries because of it. So we're going to start kind of top down here. You're going to get your domain, your website, your workspace for G Suite. And once you do that, you can go to YouTube and hook it right to your Gmail account. Oh. A lot of this is edited through the studio side, or you can do it on the front side if you're in the admin. You want to have an attractive banner with your channel name. Not just your channel name, though. They have some images going on relevant to the channel. You want your logo on there, your title. Get that handle customized. And then you're going to want to have a nice description built out. Include your website, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And then you can also choose links. Now, our food and beverage brand goes hand in hand with our catering brand. So we do mention both. So you can book a call with us. You can visit the catering website, our Facebook page, our Instagram. Um, we should actually put our TikTok on here, or Twitter. Any social media page you're running or important URL, slap in there. Link them all together. Email address, put in contact information again, and then it tracks the rest for you, where you're from, an address if you want it, add a phone number if you want people to call you, fill it all in. If there's a spot, if there's a space, fill it in, check the box, whatever it may be, leave no stone unturned. The more you fill out, the better off you are. You do not want to have a blank channel that just would have, for us, would be a letter P right here, and it's plain. It's more than just your video content. It's how your channel looks, too. So, have a showcase video. For us, we chose bubble tea training because that is an evergreen service for us. We offer bubble tea training. We have an online course. You can come in store and do it. But this attracts people. We have our list of hashtags. You want to pick hashtags relevant to your niche relevant to your videos, are being searched for, and again, will generate more views. So for us, pause so you don't have to hear that. Anything that's kind of food and beverage, barista, matcha, our brand names, how-to and tutorial is huge in this space. And I'll show you that. And anything of relevance. And you can add more than this, too. YouTube says to only do five sometimes. You can do more. I say do more because capture all the people. We're going to pause. Again, you can see this is selfie style. Some are selfie style, some are screen share style. We're going to go over this. As you can see, again, uh, we're still uploading thumbnails. So as I make this video and explain, all videos should have a thumbnail. That's pretty consistent on brand and style. You can see we got headshots of D, even if it's me talking in the video. The thumbnail matches the title. The title is how to, what it does, and then our channel. This one's Pearl Lemon Catering. As you can see, it's going again. 
headshots, branding, headshots, branding. We're working on getting them consistent as we re-optimize this channel. But then beyond that, we have shorts as well. You want to do both. So a video should be 10 plus minutes long. We do have some shorter videos in here when we first started. But on average, our videos are longer than 10 minutes. They tend to be 8 to 20 minutes long. Then you have shorts. Shorts are usually under 3 minutes, on average 1 minute. They post TikTok, they got hashtags, something to just grab people's attention really quick. Something fun and interesting, again, can be how-to, can be prep, can be, for us, little snapshots of events. You want to do both. Get traffic through both. Um, shorts can be selfie style or you recording. And you can edit it so it goes in bits, like a series. And then videos should be longer and more in depth. From here, you can view videos and shorts. Playlist. Create. Playlist. We have a sales tips and tricks playlist we're building out. We have a testimonial playlist we're building out. And then we have some internal playlists in here that can't be found by the public, um, like our training videos. But then we have our business journey in here as well. Something, again, I would strongly encourage you to do. They also have a new community feature. Again, do it. Anywhere you're posting, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, make the post here to and engage. Anybody that leaves a comment will reply to it. All your videos should be a, a call to action at the end. Subscribe, like, drop a comment, type call to action. And it keeps going. The goal is you really should try to do a video a day. If that's too much for you, aim for three long videos a week and then three to five shorts. So 30 minutes of long video, less than 10 minutes of shorts. So less than an hour of your time a week can be spent creating content. And then I do want to pause it while the studio loads, but I want to show you a shortcut that will help you later. So the faster you are, the more successful you'll be because you'll spend less time writing. Once you're in the back end in studio, you can go to settings and do upload defaults. This will help you later. So you can spend one day, less than really, get the ending of your title in. We always do how to, whatever. Then Pearl Lemon Caterings, Pearl Lemon Caterings always in there. We have a preset write up with our site and our hashtags in here. We want it preset to private, so it's private until we schedule. And then the hashtags down in here again, too. And then you just click save. That means every time you upload a video, all of this will attach. So then you just have to add in the changes to the title and anything extra to your description you want. And it's all set. And again, key bits, show viewers, allow comments, all that fun jazz. But if you take the time to do your research on hashtag and get this right up good in the way you like it, again, we like emojis, short sections, include URLs and other important information. You don't have to rewrite it every time. You don't even have to copy paste or use a text expander, anything like that. It's already there for you. It can save you so much time especially if you decide to have one main recording day like six hours straight you're just going to knock out a load of videos shorts in full length and then edit them and upload and schedule them and you're talking like a 12 hour day doing it all so you're set for two months right this is one less step for you if you decide to pull a long haul like that i personally record one regular video a day and try to do a couple shorts a week um, that's much more manageable personally for me with my other work tasks i would also recommend though you can spend one day 
spending a couple hours on a day off and do a week worth at a time so you can stake them up. But definitely have something published almost every day. I can't stress that enough. YouTube does really favor active channels. They say you're uploading videos and shorts daily and get engagement. They re really do favor you within their uh, search engine. So, again, that's just a quick how to be successful on YouTube and set up a channel. Should you need any help, we'd be more than happy to help you. Just reach out to us, drop us an email, drop a comment below, and catch you in the next video.